Good morning, everybody. I'm Julie Moran. Do you feel it? Do you feel it? I'm talking about the excitement in the air. Welcome to the kickoff of Mission Makeover. You might remember last season, we followed four women on their health and wellness journey to turn their lives around. They spent 25 weeks pushing themselves to the limit. Can I give up? No. Please. Dieting and exercising, in some cases, for the very first time. In the end, our four women lost collectively over 200 pounds and improved their outlook on life. Well, guess what? We are at it again. Coming up, we'll introduce you to this season's Mission Makeover Women and a team of experts who will help change their lives. How do they expect a big girl like me to do push-ups? This is a moment of change, so it's not gonna feel comfortable, but you guys are doing it. Can I give up? This is gonna be a journey we're all gonna go on together. Welcome back to the Balancing Act Mission Makeover Series. Get ready to meet the three women who will share their life-changing journey with us this season. First up, a radio entertainment reporter who covets clothes and cupcakes. I am Jill Tracy and I weigh 350 pounds. And I am tired of being the fat girl in the room. Hot 105 today's R&B hits and oldies. I'm James T. And we say good morning, South Florida. Let's check in with my friend. She's Jill Tracy. Yes, sir. Good morning, South Florida. I am Jill Tracy with Love Life and the 411. I am the Muhammad Ali dieting. I have been fighting this war as long as I can remember. I've been very fortunate and blessed to not have as serious health issues as I should have, having carried this much weight for this long. You know, as a kid, I was always a bigger girl, but everybody wanted to be my friend because I had all the cool stuff, I had the best house, I always had tea parties and lots of sweets. My father, uh, I didn't know him. I felt that, he, you know, my mom got pregnant and he didn't want to have kids and so he left. So it was my fault. My relationship or lack thereof with my father, it, it, it is the root of everything. To not know what it's like to have unconditional love from a man mess you up forever. <laughs> this is unconditional love. Oh, see? Completely and totally. Right, Moochies? Princess, you're gonna help me pack? You're gonna help me pack, Moochies? Ma, do you know what happened to the rest of these glasses? Ma. I hear you. I'm coming. Do I know what? What happened to all the rest of Nanny's glass? Oh, there they are. My mom um, lives here. She has ended her battle with weight. I see my mother and I see this serious health challenges that she has now because of the years that she carried the weight and she has not carried them nearly as long as I have. I definitely see where it will shorten my life if I don't lose this weight, period. And this is my bedroom, also known as my closet because I covet clothing. So I have everything. I mean, even though I'm a big girl, I like to do colors because I feel like you can do that. But you know, I would like to be able to wear this and not look like the side of a bus. So this is my kitchen. It's about the size of a postage stamp, but you know, I can make miracles happen in here when I cook at home. I cook really healthy, good stuff. It's just when I go out and there's fryers and icing and you know, pasta and all those things. We get into a lot of trouble. Girl, let me tell you, <laughs> cupcakes. I have eaten cupcakes from here to Jamaica and back. Oh, I can smell sugar and ice cream and cupcakes anywhere. Like I hear music when I see cupcakes, it's ridiculous. Cupcakes definitely are the, you know, they are my kryptonite. That's what they are. And how will I walk away from them forever and ever I'm in? How will this happen? I live really close to the beach, and I seldom go there because being fat at the beach is like being a unicorn. <laughs> you know, you might as well just landed from Mars or something. It's like really, 
what are you doing here? I, it, you know, it's not pleasant. So beautiful here, that's why I live on South Beach. No, but who wants to be here in a maxi dress? I don't know, with the help of Mission Makeover though, I will be here in a bikini. Cause maybe not a bikini, but certainly a cute, sexy one piece. I like her attitude. South Beach, you better watch out. Coming up, you'll meet the other two charismatic women embarking on this mission makeover. But first, a healthy eating tip from our friends at Domino Sugar with Chef Nick Stellino. Hello, I am Chef Nick Stellino. There is no denying it, we love sugar. And sugar plays an important role in all of our diets. It seems we cannot live without it. But the good news is sugar does not have to equate to weight gain. Thanks to a sugar alternative, they use stevia, a South American plant that is all natural. Domino and CNH light sugar and stevia blend is made from the extract of the stevia plant and it's blended with another one of nature's pure sweet plants, the sugar cane. It's half the calories of sugar, plus it tastes great. So ladies, as you begin your journey to optimum health, I'll be right here with you. And I have to let you in a little secret. I went on a health journey myself and lost over 70 pounds. So I can relate. And I too love sugar. So get ready for some great tips for healthy eating. We can do this together. I'll see you next time. Welcome back to the Balancing Act's Mission Makeover series. Now we've met one of the three women putting it all on the line towards a healthier and happier lifestyle. Next up, a former professional dancer whose husband is a mixed martial arts fighter. My name is Alexandra Arguello. I weigh 242 pounds and I'm gonna take my life back one pound at a time. I'm a paralegal, I'm a dancer. I used to dance every night and I would just dance all night for hours. That's how I let my emotions out. And I wasn't able to do that anymore. I just didn't have the energy. It was a depression. Um, I quickly gained weight. And you know, I can't help but say that I once judged people because of their weight too. And now I'm on the other side and I don't like it. The scary thing about gaining so much weight is the health risks that come with it. That's another thing that brings on my anxiety is that when my heart starts pounding, when I'm having an anxiety attack, I'll, I'll think, oh my God, this could be a heart attack, this could be it. It's frightening. I don't like to see what I look like now. My face, it's all swollen, it's, it's just not me. I had my weight gain before I met my husband. When he met me, I was at my highest weight. One, two, one, two. He's a fitness fanatic. Faster. I don't know, this isn't really my thing. It can really help your cardio. Just go. I started working out with him and I lost a little bit of it, but then we found out we were pregnant a couple months later, so. <laughs> Lo and behold, I gained the weight back. One, One two, two, three. <laughs> my son, Cristiano, light of my life. He was born June 8th, and he's the greatest thing that's ever happened to me. He really is. But I am very self-conscious with my husband. It has affected our physical relationship. Because of my weight, I'm not as comfortable. I can't get into these sexy little lingeries. You know, I have them, but I don't think they're cute, so I don't wear them. Alex, can you come here, please? What are you doing? This stuff you haven't even worn in forever. Ricky, yeah, these are my jeans. I used to, I'm going to wear them. I need them in here for motivation. And when was the last time you even wore this? I will wear it for you one day. Every woman needs her crotchless underwear. I hope so. It's not that we don't have a sexual relationship. No, it's not that. It's just harder. Obviously, I don't want him to see as much of me. I'm a very sexual person, and why shouldn't my husband be able to enjoy that? Why? So Adam and Selena come home next week, and what are we gonna cook? Well, I go with the usual, which is just chicken and some salad. The people that have been the hardest, I think, are my uncle and my mother. There would be always a cake, because my wife always likes to have dessert, and Alex would always eat two pieces of cake. Sometimes I'll be going out, and I'm like, Mom, does this look good? And she'll literally, without looking up, she'll say, well, you're gonna look huge in whatever you wear, but yeah, that's fine for what it is. You know, and I need that. I, I think if I had one of these parents that was like, great, because I know some people who have that, oh my god, stunning, I'd be as big as a house. I had my birthday party when my grandmother had it at her house, just the, the family dinner, and there's cake, and I'm like, yes, chocolate 
such a cookie cake score. That's my favorite cake in the world. Everyone's like, you're not gonna eat it. I'm sorry, what? It's my birthday. So I do have my stash hidden away. I have it in my little spots. When I need it, I, I know where it is. I want to lose the weight and I need to lose the weight for my life. I know that that winner, that Alex, is still within me. Get ready, because you are gonna see that Alex. She's gonna be back, and it's gonna be super sexy, super hot, and it's still inside, we just need to find her, so let's find her. Help me, America, let's rock. Let's rock, love it. And something tells me she will be able to get back on the dance floor and more with pride. And I can barely wait for you to meet our final go-getter, and I mean go-getter. Stay with us. Welcome back to the launch of our new Mission Makeover series. Now our third and final Mission Makeover lady is a fiery Latin with a passion for family and food. My name is Blanca Varela, I'm 220 pounds. I want to make a huge change in my life and start fresh. I come from a family that loves food. I have been overweight probably all my life. I mean, I remember the first diet that I was on, I was nine years old. I gained and lost weight so many times in my life, and it wasn't like 20 pounds here or there, 60 pounds here, 65 pounds there, then gain it all back. The smallest size I've ever been is a size 10. The highest has been a 20. You go to a regular store, you find great fashions. I love fashion, but for my size, you're very limited on what it's out there that actually looks classy and looks good, or it's not out outrageously expensive. It'll be nice to shop somewhere else other than the plus stores. Everything is a trigger for me. When I'm stressed out, I like to eat. When I'm sad, it makes me happy. I mean, come on, nothing better than some ice cream when you're sad. I not only suffer from anxiety, I also have uh, depression problems. It's actually borderline uh, bipolar disorder because, you know, bipolar disorder is, is an up and down type of thing. My tendencies are always for the depression. And I try to kill myself by taking an excess of pills. Thank God, um, nothing happened and, and, uh, and my son and my husband were there and they saw me through it and had treatment and got regulated a medication. It's been over three years and I, I have to tell you, I feel pretty darn good. I have an amazing family that loves me and understands me, so what else can you possibly ask for, you know? My husband is my rock. I love her, even if she's overweight, that's not an important thing for me. I look deep in her heart. I prepare a meal for my husband every day. That's gonna be the biggest challenge for us. We eat a lot of Latin food, so rice, beans, fried chicken, steak. I'm not really big on veggies. For me, cooking is really important. I actually cook to avoid my refrigerator being raided in the afternoons when the kids get off at school. It's usually my son and his girlfriend, her cousins, and usually other friends that write in and they all decide if this is a good place to eat. Not for it's nothing, good. but I make really good food. <laughs> it's good. Mom, when's the next time you're gonna make that stuffed chicken with the cream cheese and the bacon? It'll be a long time before I'm gonna be making that. God, I'm gonna miss my own cooking. Yeah. I'm excited, I'm just a little scared. You know, I failed before, so you kind of are a little bit more afraid to fail in public. You're gonna do just fine. Just take one, Thank you, guys. one day, one That's day at a time. There are so many reasons why I want to lose weight. My triglycerides are high, my cholesterol is high, my sugar levels are high. My doctor says, you are diabetic, but it's not to the point that you have to use insulin every day. I know that if I don't take care of this stuff now, I may not see my grandchildren. I decided to make a change for this next half of my life, and it starts with my well-being mentally, my physical well-being, I want to lose weight, and I feel good about myself in every way. Don't count out the housewife because this girl, I'm the oldest, but I'm the sharpest and I'm the smartest. So we'll see how it goes. <laughs> Spicy, she has got it going on. Well, you've just met the three women embarking on a journey to better health and wellness. Coming up next, meet the experts who will lend them a hand and more. Stay with us. Welcome back to our new Mission Makeover series. 
As you know, sometimes it just takes a village to help us reach our goals. And we have just the ticket for our three Mission Makeover ladies. Here now is our amazing panel. Hi, I'm Dr. Gabby Cora. I'm a wellness doctor and coach, medical doctor, psychiatrist, and therapist. And I've been working with people for about 20 years. One of the first things that I like to do with these ladies is that they identify what their fears are and what the triggers are. So it's very important for us to try to figure out what is that fear factor that's driving them to overeat. So part of my task and our team's task is to help these women overcome those things as early as possible so that then they can focus on the behavior of eating well every single day and exercising every single day. My name is Tracy Scaletta. I'm a registered dietitian and I primarily practice weight loss, um, especially with the obese population. The biggest struggles I think that um, these women are going to face is the fact that food is almost like their friend. Um, they're going to feel like they're losing their best friend. It's going to be tough. They have to make complete lifestyle change. This is what I do. This is my passion. I love helping people lose weight and that's one piece of it. But the other piece is putting back in their self-esteem and seeing them reach their goals is just something that I'm really looking forward to. I'm Lisa Sarah. I've spent the last 20 years as a fashion stylist for advertising, celebrity red carpet, television and film. I've styled everyone from the Kardashians to just your regular everyday person. These women are gonna go through changes in their outlook and their weight and they're gonna go through a transition where they've been dressing to hide their bodies to where I'd like to take them, to a more confident person who is experimenting more with their wardrobe. I'm Adriana Martin, I've been a trainer for 12 years. I specialize in just getting people to get up and get moving and loving every single minute of it. I am so excited to be back for season two. From a fitness standpoint, my goal is to really get these women to understand that they not only have to work hard, but they have to work smart. A lot of people think that you could take a workout and implement it to everybody, but it doesn't work. You have to really customize because everybody's different. Now we have three different women, three different age groups, and I know we can do it, so it'll be interesting to watch. I'm telling you, what an impressive team of experts and what an awesome group of women embarking on this mission makeover. This is gonna be good. And turning now to next week's show. I wanna get your heart rate up and I want you to tell me how you feel. Uh, I'm done. No, you're not done yet. An epiphany during a fitness session brings one of our ladies to tears. You don't wanna miss it. And be sure to check us out on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. And we'll see you next Monday on another special edition of Mission Makeover. But now, stay tuned for more information you can use to help balance your life as our regular edition of the Balancing Act continues right after this. So long. Today's AccuWeather segment is brought to you by State Farm. For auto, home, life, and banking, get to a better state.